Hey, good day everyone. This is Lad from the Woods with my new reaction channel called Long Live Rock, which is an old Who song. But uh, I want to bring new classic style rock to people that uh, obviously haven't been able to find it. Uh, my age group, uh, a lot of the kids are listening to good rock or got good bands on their own that are more like our boomer bands like Greta Van Fleet and Nick Perry and The Underground. The Who had a new album. Deep Purple's had a new album out recently. Uh, the Rolling Stones was recording a new album when Charlie Watts died. Anyways, for my first video, I'm going to do my favorite all-time rock band. I'm going to tell you everybody now that I'm a completely obsessed hooligan or Who fan. Who fans will understand this. Uh, total freak show. So, anyway, this was the first, uh, no, second uh, or the third single off their new album that came out in 2019 simply called Who. So I thought I'd do a reaction video to it, even though I already know the song, but this is kind of a practice uh, thing. Sides, it exposes uh, the younger ones, hopefully, uh, to newer music. So, anyway, uh, I have hundreds, if not thousands, of good rock songs that the older boomers are going to fucking remember. Uh, like, not remember, but they're going to hear it and go, shit, man, that's pretty, who's that? Well, you're going to find out from Long Live Rock. Okay, with Lad from the Woods. All right, let's get this on the go. So I'm going to push play here and try my first time at this. I don't care. I know you're going to hate this song. We'll pause it here. First song. I gotta stop doing air drum. I get out of breath. I used to be a drummer, but anyways, uh, that's Zach Starkey, the the who the who touring band drummer. Um, Keith Moon actually gave him his first drum lessons and his first drum kit. Anyways, uh, and of course you can hear the slashing guitars of Townsend, which I'm trying to you can't with this video. It's too small, but like uh, you know, you do the swing. Who fans will get it. All right, let's uh, keep this going, man. Yeah, I'm smoking a coffee and I'm drinking my doobie too. Cool. Yeah, this was quite the surprise. Um, I just absolutely love it. Zach uh, Pino Palladino is on bass. He's no John Entwistle, but um, he uh, 
is amazing on this album. Obviously, uh, Townsend had him turn up loud, <laughs> and you can hear that bass really good and heavy. But this is definitely classic Who, and lots of guys. I'm going to the Who without Keith Moon or, or John Entwistle. No, that's not the original Who. I agree. But we haven't had the original Rolling Stones since Brian Jones died. But I don't hear nobody say nothing about that. If Jason Bonham toured with Led Zeppelin, not one person would breathe a word because it's Led Zeppelin. So, anyway, it's a new Who, but it's still the Who. It's got that sound. And any Who fan that has heard this new album, if you haven't, you need to go get it. Because the album, the longer you play it, uh, the more times you play it, and then you go away from it, and you come back, and it's like a classic Who album. You just hear it, and you're going, yep, that fits in with my Who collection. It's it's meant to be part of it. Whereas, you know, you look at, uh, I don't know, the uh, the last album, uh, I don't remember the name of it, but it, it, you know, it didn't seem like a Who album. It was like Roger Daltrey and Pete Townsend, and Daltrey singing Townsend, uh, uh, solo songs. So, anyways, uh, no, this is definitely like a proper Who album. It's just not, you know, with Keith and John. But live with it, man. It's better than nothing. And there's a whole lot of nothing out there, at least until I start showing everybody. Because there's a shitload of good rock. Spotify is what's got me like, wow, stumbling over across bands everywhere. Okay, here we go. Back to the song. Mine is yours. Who gives a fuck? fuck? And that's the end of it. And classic Townsend, right? Who gives a fuck? Anyway, I just thought I would do this as my first one, my greatest uh, all-time band. There's at least four or five other songs on the album that are very good. Um, Roger Daltrey had said when the album when he first heard it from Townsend, like, you know what, they got the mixing done and everything, and he's like, that's our best album since Quadrophenia. And a lot of people probably went, what? But no, it's true. I mean, if you look back on the albums, uh, It's Hard, Face Dances, Who Are You, uh, Who By Numbers, all albums I absolutely love. But if you're going to put it up there with the great ones like Quadrophenia, Tommy, Who's Next, you know, stuff like that, believe it or not, folks, this album does fit within that confines and it's a new sound at the same time and there's a couple of songs that are a new song and there's a couple of songs that come right out of 1967 uh, we'll be playing them later but right now the idea is to bring uh, new bands to people that haven't seen them yet maybe you already did which is good then you're ahead of me on it anyways uh, this is something I've always wanted to do because rock and roll, I grew up with it. Uh, I grew up in the 60s, 70s, the great era. My parents had albums. We got millions of albums still at my mom's place. My dad's gone, but my dad and I used to sit and just play music day after day, seven days a week. You know, in this, uh, when he wasn't working, when he was working, you know, as soon as he'd get home, I, if I wasn't already there, he'd have the stereo on. And I mean, we grew up, I'm, I mean, Led Zeppelin 1, 2, 3 were all brand new albums to me when I was a kid. And that was like, yeah, holy shit. Imagine what you, uh, what you kids missed. So, anyway, let's end this. Uh, so, uh, yeah, thank you for coming. And uh, the channel's called Long Live Rock. And I'm Lad with the Woods, and um, I have other channels, but you can see those on the cards at the end of the uh, video. If you want to help donate, uh, that's always appreciated because this shit's getting expensive for a guy on pension. But whatever, I'm happy. I'll just keep doing what I got to do somehow. Um, so that, that's about it. So everybody have a good time this week, the rest of this week. It's Wednesday tomorrow. 
be safe, be cool, and be good. And if you can't be good, be good at being bad. And long live rock. I'll have to get uh, a thing at the end with the long live rock uh, yell. And then I put that on. As long as I don't use just a clip, small clip of it. Like, not the whole song, but just a clip where the where Roger Daltrey's like, long live rock. Yeah, we'll get that on there. Okay, I'm going to shut this off if I remember.